You're probably wondering, what am I doing with a pitchfork and cowboy boots on top of a roof? Well, folks, today we're gonna do some cowboy shit. You see, most people rebuild a structure from top down, not me. We first do the inside, do all the drywall electrical, and then we handle the top. Is it smart? Absolutely not. But is this where we are? Because I couldn't get on the roof before. So we're stripping down the existing roof that's here. And the fun part, because there's always something fun in every project, is um, it's not one layer. It's not two layers of shingle. It's not even three. It's six. Some parts are six, some parts are three. And it all sucks. Let's put in some sweat equity. So what I got here is a shingle removing claw or rake, whatever they want to call it. So the idea behind it is you start from the top and you jam them. Oh, that one's easy. And then you start prying with the back kicker. And by doing that, you're removing all that. Now I tried from the other side, bottom up. But the problem behind all that is, of course, the one that I do makes it all easy. <laughs> but the problem behind that is I found that it's, well, I guess there's no problem behind that. <laughs> it, got, it got scared. It saw you coming and it just... I know, the camera's on. It loosened up. <laughs> Sometimes if you get too far deep below the last layer, it's too heavy, so all the shingles are laying here and you're not reaching all the nails. But both systems are working and I'll be switching back and forth. And we also have a, a pitchfork in case witches come. Get them, Tim. So it looks like after like three layers of shingles, there's this big long, I just cut a chunk out, of rolled on shingle roll, I guess. I've never seen that. And then behind that is carbon paper. And look, more shingles. Oh, I was just praying for more shingles. Christmas has come early at the Mr. Build It house. Six layers of shingles. What a plethora of shingles. <laughs> Imagine the weight on a 412 pitch roof of six layers of shingles. This is the ultimate weight loss. It's unreal. Just unreal. The gentleman that had this house before who did all this, he's out there just in heaven looking down and just giggling, just <laughs> cackling, looking at me trying to redo all this. Oh, oh, Jim, may you just, may you rest easy. Think about bringing the wheelbarrow up here. Well, I was thinking about two. Just dump it in the trailer without dumping the wheelbarrow. <laughs> and then we're gonna break our wheelbarrow. Yeah, let's let's bring the Give let's bring shot. the wheelbarrow on a roof. Let's do it. <laughs> it's official. We're squirrely up here. What can go wrong? Two things can happen. The wheelbarrow might fall down full or we fall down because the wheelbarrow fell rolling at us. At least the 2,000 pounds of tar shingles will break our fall. Yeah. I have to do some sketchy Do da, do da. I have to do some sketchy Do, do da day. So, to make our life a little bit easier, we went to Tate's and rented a seven by 14 dump trailer. Cause that way we can just kick it out. If you have a Tate's next by, by you, go check them out. They're employee owned, they're fantastic. I've partnered with them for a long time. A dump trailer, shingling, that's the way to go. That one gets stuck in like every nail. <laughs> the amount of nails under here, we can melt it and build a tank. <laughs> Oh, that thing's working for you, huh? Yeah, I mean, besides the nails, like it just goes right through and it just quick, just rips the. It's shingle almost from like the, nail. the pitchfork is working better. Seems like it, huh? But at least that one might be slower. But I think with it pulling the nails out, it might do a more thorough job. Because if not, we're gonna have to just pound these in or pull them. It's like, whew. I don't like playing this game anymore. It's not, YouTube's not fun anymore. I want to just get a desk job where I just do what I'm told and not strip roofs down. I want this to be over. 
Guys, I'll be honest with you, renovating this abandoned house is, uh, sometimes it can get a little too much, and I'll be frank with you, it interferes with my mental health. The projects are way over my head, and I feel like I constantly run in from one problem into another problem, and it interferes with my happiness. Is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Regardless of whether you are diagnosed with clinical mental health issues like depression or anxiety, or you're just a human who lives in this world who's going through a hard time, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a very different way. That's why I'm very excited to share the sponsors of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is a very important mission because finding a therapist can be really, really hard, especially if you live in an area with limited options. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. It's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. It's so easy to sign up and get matched with a the therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com forward slash Mr. Build It. Clicking the link helps support this channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Help you connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. And because finding the right therapist is kind of like dating, if you don't find the right match, which is pretty common in therapy, switching is free, and you don't have to worry about things like insurance or out-of-network stuff or anything like that. So between working out, getting my proper sleep, doing my cold plunges, meditating, and now speaking to a licensed therapist through BetterHelp, I now have better control of my brain and my body to make sure they all keep up. So if you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. There's a link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Mr. Build It. Thank you for BetterHelp for sponsoring this channel. Now let's go back to ripping off this old roof. So I think what's working well right now for me is prying it off linearly from the top and then prying it off a little bit deeper yeah. and then do another one deeper. So at that point, they don't break off in small pieces as much. Yeah. Then they started starting to heat up. So now it's like getting all squishy gushy. So we can get some bigger chunks out. The old back is tight. Oh, it's getting tighter. It's moments like this that I remind myself when uh, things get hard and get burned out with whatever projects, I remind myself, well, would you rather be a full-time roofer? And I say, no, thank you. I appreciate you roofers out there for doing what you're doing. Hug your local roofer. You would imagine that picking up the shingles is probably the most annoying part. It's actually a moment of rest. It relaxes the back. I'd rather be picking them up right now than scraping them. Oh man, I'm tired. There's a hole in here. My foot just went through. Whoa. Whoa. There's some rotting, boy. Look at that. Unreal. Well, good thing we're stripping this and getting a nice new layer. See the drywall down below. Good thing it didn't go through the drywall. Dang. <laughs> I am glad we're stripping this. There's some patching that needs to get done still. Ooh. That could have been bad. So if you're bored at home, folks, grab a shovel, start ripping your roof apart and see if you find something. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry. Okay. They still get a workout in. You'll still get a workout. Oh, that breeze. Oh, oh baby. Ooh. Oh, that's like a tall drink of water right there. So Tim and I just had a great idea. If you're trying to get that summer bod going, forget the Atkins, the Paleo, the Keto. Come work with me. It's the Mr. Builder workout plan. I'll give you a pitchfork and we'll start ripping off the rest of the roofs in the neighborhood. We'll get you in shape, fighting shape.
man, we've been trekking at this for about three hours. We're finally in the home stretch here. And man, it makes you happy seeing this wood. It's almost like a great t-shirt idea. I love the side of wood in the morning or afternoon, whatever. The side of wood is we love. Now, when you're nailing shingles, there's like five nails you put in and then you skip to the next shingle, which is another like, I don't know, six inches away. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 nails in the length of one shingle. Why? God, why? We're just revolutionizing framing or roofing. Exactly. Who says you need a roofing contractor? No. Nah. We're just a bunch just of innovators. A pitchfork, innovate. a wheelbarrow. We're just a bunch of innovators, just revolutionizing just, roofing. It's 2023 and we're going back to 1943, right here. All this newfangled technology, who needs it? It's a young man's game. Well, the garage roof is almost all done. We just gotta clean up all this little specks of trash. I've lost probably maybe five pounds of sweat. So losing weight, which is the system works. We got to do the rest of the house roof. Might as well get it all done at once. And uh, after that's done, we start patching up all these little holes and start ready for some weatherproofing. Well, also we gotta get rid of these nails, which I'm not excited for that. So much fun. So it turns out it's a whole lot easier to remove shingles when it's like a single layer or you didn't stack a bunch of them up. I mean, just come at it. Look how much easier that is, huh? So much easier. I wish that was like that, but you know, it's not in the cards, is it? And also learn a critical lesson. Even though it's 95 degrees outside, uh, don't wear a tank top. Uh, here's a picture of me the day after I did that roof. <laughs> Lots of lessons learned here. Guys, two days. Two days, Tim and I banged out this entire house with the garage, with the help of Tate's Rents using their dump trailer, pulled it up. 5,000 pounds of shingles went into the dump. Unbelievable, I was also surprised like I mentioned earlier, how much easier a roof that was done properly comes off. Now it helps that they'll use like one inch nails, but nonetheless, that stuff just fell down, which couldn't ask for a better demo. I wish that happened on the other side. So the boards on this side are in pretty good condition, apart from maybe three different spots where they weren't rotted, but they were cracked, dehydrated and cracked. So I decided to rip them off, replace them, and uh, that will be ready for underlayment and all that good stuff. as a bug. Where is it? This is one. Oh yeah, put your foot through that one. Santa Claus is not climbing down a chimney with this roof. I don't think he has insurance. I swear, the more I look, the more I find. Now I think this is the last one. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's gonna be a ton more. So I was looking at this chimney the other day and it uh, looks like they closed it off with some kind of mortar, I guess. This fireplace has been converted into be a gas fireplace, which is cool. Covered it up. This is a coffee can with a hole in it that they're using to blow off whatever, maybe not even have the 
squirrels come into it, but a coffee can mortared on top of a chimney, this is just another level of All right, that about covers all the damaged boards that I could find right now. I'm sure I'll have to, I'm sure that was gonna be like a last minute uh, patch up. But what we're gonna do right now is the part that I'm probably most annoyed about. I'm gonna have to bang in all of these nails. <laughs> I don't, that's, there's nothing, there's no speech, there's no nothing. It's just swing away and uh, have fun. Ladies, gentlemen, start your engines. Look what I said, huh? Last minute patch. I'm a man of my word. The gift that keeps on giving. Screw that. I'm yanking them out. This would be so much easier. Because you can capture a few nails at once. I need a new back. I need to rebuild this puppy. All right, well, one eighth of the roof is done. I don't know what's easier, banging the nails in or prying them off. They're both equal amount of labor. You just get a better result, I guess, from pulling them out. So there's not as many nails sitting in these boards. So you don't end up re-shingling and then hitting a bunch of nails? I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this in the comments. It's... What's better, nailing or removing it? Because my back hurts from both. Oh, my back is tight. Oh. I'm gonna need a nice deep tissue massage after all of this. Oh. All right guys, so I got one, two, three more sides to do. This is not gonna be breezy, but it's getting done, it's getting done right. Sometimes I ask myself if I just bit up a little too much then I could chew all this project. But you look back and you go, well you eat an elephant one bite at a time and next thing you know, the elephant's all gone. So we're at next is I'm gonna get all the stuff cleaned up. I ordered all of my supplies, my flashings, my, my felt paper, my, my shingles, everything. And I'm sharing all the details once they show up on Wednesday and we'll start busting this tire roof off and get this puppy covered before any rain comes in. That just means sacrificing and doing all this stuff in 100 degree weather. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching this video. Check this video right here that I think you might enjoy that's related to this abandoned house.